Hi students and welcome to all the parents to career cool. We are strategic partners with Test Prep Cart and you can download our free ebook that is for the Dausa counseling from the description given below. So in this video we are talking about different engineering branches for the NRI students and which among these branches will be the best branch for an NRI candidate. You are, you might be a candidate who are who is living in the Middle East or you may be in some part of Africa which is like Tanzania Kenya whichever country you are living in and if you wish to study in India which will be the best branch for you hum log us pe nazar dalte hain so this is about the best engineering branch for an RI candidate and my name is Sagar Anand i am a career counselor i have done my btech from vit university and i have done my ms from technical university of dresden if you look into the dasa websites and if you want to download the cutoffs also the cutoffs are also given in the description below you can download the uh, dasa cutoffs for ciwg and non ciwg candidates and we are a strategic partners with a uh, test prep card for strategic partners for counseling for test prep card and you can also download our free ebook from the description below so for the nri students let us understand ki definitely the number one com- uh, number one engineering branch currently is computer science domain and in this you get a multiple different branches and how do how will it affect you that is what we are going to understand you have computer engineering you have computer science and engineering basically there is no difference in this if you look into the syllabus also practically there is no difference as such in computer engineering or computer science engineering there is practically not much difference in computer and applied math this becomes a little more a uh, little more uh, in depth in depth you know in depth and this is more i would say more hardcore computer science more hardcore computer science uh, because if you look into applied mathematics applied mathematics is the basis that is mainly the basis for computer science whenever you want to make a computer from scratch and let's say you have all the hardware and you start developing a software it might be something of an operating system or it might be even a language or after language it might be something of a compiler then you tend to use a lot of mathematics and if you come into a, like applied maths so when you go into ai also that is applied maths so this is for students who are more interested in their thinking on the terms they're thinking of software engineering because software engineering is just a part of computer science so if they're thinking that computer science engineering is just software that is not the right take right uh, way to think about it because computer science engineering uh, has a part of software engineering so if we are thinking that it industries is on a decline and software engineering was on a decline and what will be the new thing so you come into computer and applied mathematics and go into ai or cyber security which will help you more to work in more niche jobs in companies like amazon google facebook linkedin twitter even if you take an example of parag agarwal mr parag agarwal who is the ceo of twitter right now so he has done btech mtech and phd so this will this will this will get you closer to that type of a profile where you're developing more uh, fundamental uh, some fundamental tools in computer science then you have computer science and design that is basically into looking into e-commerce if you look into the application of this branch that will be looking into e-commerce something like computer science and design can be uh, looking into e-commerce businesses for business systems design for business systems how will uh, everything look how will the front end look how will the back end look how will the database look this will look into the design aspect design aspect can also look into architectural design of the computer itself so this is about design and the practical application will go into something like a company called amazon computer and applied mathematics might take you something into like twitter or linkedin or Uh, where analytics is used or into compiler design you also have dual degree so if you're not getting a btech you can take a dual degree you get btech and mtech in system design and system design again it is something which you can look into which is like zomato a company which is uh, having everything online from payment to marketing to uh, customer acquisition everything is online so how to design such a system which is automated book my show things like this this is uh, very new and you can also have system design let's say automated system design of uh, for uh, like a rover mars rover so it is automatically sending data receiving data it might have inter- human interventions but it has a lot of inbuilt automated capacity 
and then definitely you have software engineering so these are the basic basic branches which you are getting in under dasa in triple it's in nit's and other cfti's that is a center for under technical institutes uh, we will go in deeply into other branches also but let us see which are the closely related branch if you do not get computer science what you can take you can take something which is called ict which is information and Com Com communication technology for this the example would be currently a uh, look into what is happening on the moon uh, with nokia use these keywords moon nokia and communication system look into google and what is happening is they are trying to develop a communication system on the moon so that is information communication technology and uh, actually this project is being handled by an indian who has studied in india for bachelor's and then masters he has done in us so that profile is there so you will be working in companies which are more related to communication communication will have hardware in the electronics uh, part and then it will have software from the computer science so ict is also a very good uh, way because communication for example what we are seeing right now to get data from anywhere satellites also getting data um, uh, defense systems getting data or communication in terms of zoom or communication in terms of mobile networkings everything will come under this you have it and social science also this you will get in some of the triple it's and you have it which you will get in triple it's so this is very closely related computer science branches there are some other important branches which we will discuss in the further videos for example aerospace so a lot of people will have interesting uh, things to work in aerospace basic application is after you have studied aerospace you will go into defense systems defense systems is for an example you can look into the war that is going in on in ukraine so they will be talking about a lot about uh, anti missile systems and uh, defense systems which are uh, radar uh, which are helping to uh, stop um, and make everything a no fly zone so this mechanical automated systems which are being used in the war or in the defense these are also a part of something which an aerospace engineer might study at a phd level and definitely it is a part of mechanical also in aerospace automatically will go into satellites development of satellites uh, development of expeditions or companies like spacex which is coming up or companies or even working in rockets and definitely in missiles which i have told in defense systems bio related fields is also a very upcoming field so if you are looking to settle abroad in the europe or in the us and you wish to do a phd this is a very upcoming field and it is there it is there it is not at a research level altogether they have commercial companies for it uh, civil engineering and electrical engineering is present there they have uh, applications but currently computer science and electronics they are coming into this field and a lot of work in that is being done by them and electric electric and electrical engineering the current uh, main part which is the most advanced part which is happening is electrical vehicles then you have mechanical engineering you have uh, civil engineering you have industrial and production and material science we'll talk about them separately they are good for certain aspects and but for from a job perspective in india they are not good so you have to look at your future plan that your you have to look into the industry that you wish to go to then according to that you can take a branch if you wish to do an ms then separate branches for you if you want to do an mba then we can talk about in a different way and where you want to settle you want to settle abroad abroad means which area europe us singapore australia or the middle east or if you want to settle in india so then you have to understand which these parts have which kind of industries and accordingly then select here to have a sort of a flexible plan so you don't get stuck and then you have chemical chemical petroleum industry again um industry which is on the decline it is not on the rise uh, mining again it is a stable industry but not too much growth metallurgy and petroleum as i have told you then you have a uh, food processing industry this is on the rise this is on the rise textile it is not on the rise it is a mostly a, uh, at par a stagnant industry so overall this is this is our uh, reference for tier 1 tier 2 colleges you can look at the college names here you can look at the median salaries here you can have an idea of the percentage placement or you can go the other way around that if you have percentage placement of some college you can put it here and see where your college will lie uh, this will give you the percentage of students who are having more than 10 lakh uh, salary 
this is a percent of student between 6 to 10 lakh and this is less than 6 lakh and this is the highest. So you can have this as a reference for choosing the college for yourself. And in the later videos for the NRI students, we'll be discussing uh, different branches and also uh, different colleges, which will be the best college for you. So in all together, all together, uh, we are strategic partners with uh, Test Prep Card for Career Counseling. And you can download the ebook for DASA Counseling from the description below. Thank you very much.